Hello, everyone, and welcome to an episode of The Coding Cube. Today, our guest is Broth. How's it going, Broth? Hey, Carter. I'm fine. How are you doing? Doing great. Thank you very much for joining us today. Yeah, it's my pleasure. <laughs> well, thank you. Well, so let's hear a little about you. Uh, what is your role here at Sync Fusion? Yeah, um, I'm a product manager, and I do supervise uh, three controls uh, in the web platform. It's a Gantt control, tree grid, and a heat map control. So Gantt and heat map is the data visualization products, and the tree grid is the data rendering products. So these three controls I'm supervising. Very nice. So what is your top three favorite controls here at Sync Fusion that you would recommend to people? Yeah, the Gantt chart, of course, <laughs> and the data grid, and the charts. So these three controls, are, uh, I mean, you know, they are super controls in the web platforms. Mm -hmm. So the people must, I mean, the clients must use these controls for sure in their projects. Is, is there any particular reason that for you those are your top three? Yeah, of course, the Gantt chart is the best product, I mean, the project management tool uh, mm -hmm. one could use in their application. So it, it's uh, having a triggered part, the grid part on the left-hand side, if you could see the screen. So this side, the left-hand side is the triggered part, and the right side is the chart part. So you could interpret between the data and as well as, I mean, you can, you can just uh, see the UI part of the data. Uh, this is the coolest one, I mean, the, this is the best project management tool one could have in your application. If you're dealing with, you know, uh, timeline, the events or task and resources, so one should definitely use the Gantt chart. It, it simplifies your, your management skills, so if you're going in a large scale. And the other, the other things, you know, chart and data grid are the best, I mean, again, the tool, uh, to visualize your data. So, so these are the best. I mean, the products you could use in your applications yeah. to making your work even much simpler. So now that we've learned a little bit more about what the Gantt control is, what are some use cases for it? Yeah, using this Gantt chart, you could, you could uh, see a simplified UI of your project. So, uh, I mean, you know, if you're having a, a year-old project or an application running in your project, so you could just see uh, which resources working on which task at a given time, and you could manage the complex task of your project, and uh, you know you could uh, just switch over to which timeline mode. So there there are a bunch of a timeline modes in Gantt chart. So you could just switch to which timeline mode you want to see in your Gantt chart, and or, as well as you know you could see which task are so critical in your project. So there are multiple uh, use cases in this Gantt chart. So we're talking about use cases, but like what, what customer base would you say would benefit from the Gantt control? Yeah, sure. I mean, you know, if you're, if you're dealing with, as I said before, if you're dealing with the events, timeline, mm -hmm. and resources, uh, you should be using this Gantt chart. So more specifically, customer from civil constructions, delivery management, resource management, and uh, pro, I mean, you know, uh, manufacturing units. So these customers should use definitely the Gantt chart to deal with their uh, huge projects. So they can manage their complex project using this tool, mm -hmm. the perfect one. You could edit, I mean, you know, you can go ahead and edit on the left-hand side as well as on the right-hand side at any time and could they could save it in their database at any time. So this this would be a beautiful and, you know, more efficient tool for, the, for managing the projects, huge projects. I know we've been talking about, like, the current JavaScript of what we've been doing, it's like, but I think I've heard, like, is it true that there's a newer version out on the horizon coming our way? Yeah, of course. We do, I mean, it's, it's in the development phase. I mean, this existing one is based on a, J, J, a jQuery, so we need some third-party uh, dependence for this mm -hmm. control, but we are currently we are working on a newer version, which is, I mean, uh, which is on pure JavaScript. And it's it's we can, you can use it across all the mobile devices. It's a mobile friendly. We are uh, we are currently developing on providing more touch gesture support for mobile devices, so that the customers can use this tool or mobile devices on the go, on the fly. And you know we are we are adding even more couple of uh, I mean sorry even more features to this newer version, like you know uh, unscheduled tasks. See like you know in in the large projects. Um, there may be tasks which don't have any, you know, um, specific dates to start or specific dates to end. So those 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 tasks we call as an unscheduled task. So we can deal with unscheduled tasks in the newer versions. Critical critical path of, of course. Resource view, you know, mm -hmm. this this particular thing. This view is called the resource allocation view, where the left hand side will be the resources, and the right hand side will be the task which was assigned to that resources. The previous one was a project view, which I saw, I mean, 
This one is a project view. I mean, it, it shows the whole project, but this view is a resource view. And as well as a resource allocation view, we are planning. So, you know, uh, resource histogram view. So, you know, uh, in, a, in a project, you can see how much resources are allocated and how much time resources free in a project. So there are more useful views coming in the newer version. So in, in, the, in the newer version of the Gantt chart. So where could we find or download samples of this product? Yeah, of course. I mean, if you want to see the demos for Gantt chart, actually, so you could just go into ASP.NET syncfusion.com. So there will be the, the controls will be listed over here. And the fifth one is the Gantt chart. And we are having a, a lot of uh, samples for Gantt chart for, you know, major use cases, mm -hmm. exporting, and all the features over there is listed over here. So you could just find the samples for Gantt chart here. And if you want the user guide documentation, so, I mean, you want to elaborate the feature, I mean, you want a detailed uh, version of the features in, available in Gantt chart, you could just go into the help.syncfusion.com and under the web essential JS one, you could just go into ASP.NET web forms and there, I mean, you could just find under GAN. So using this user guide, you can just start from getting started document and go into a more complex features available in the GAN chart. So that's it. Well, thank you again for joining us today. I appreciate all of the stuff that you were showing us. We learned a whole lot more about the GAN control. And I'd like to thank everybody here for joining us. As Roth had mentioned, you can find all of our controls as well as demos, free trials, and plenty of information on our website, syncfusion.com. So thank you again for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.